You're now tuned into Captain's Law Podcast. Captain's Law. Happy Father's Day. Happy fucking Father's Day, man. We made it. We made it another year, y'all. Man. Bro, Happy Father's Day is like, man, this year is a more important day to me than my birthday, than Christmas, than any military holiday, man. I hold Father's Day dead in my heart, though, because <clears throat> being a father, dog, it, it shows who you really are. You know what I'm saying? It show what you're capable of. It show the, uh, you know, the ground that you set <clears throat> for your next step. You know what I mean? But happy Father's Day, man. All the good, all the good men, all my good men out there, all the good men I don't know. You know, this our day, man. <clears throat> Ain't, ain't no ain't no Father's Day to the moms. We ain't doing that shit. Y'all can cut that. To the dads out here. To the dads that got it together, that's getting it together. You know, they don't know that they going to get it together, man. This y'all day, man. <clears throat> so how does Father's Day make me feel, man? It's, uh, like I said, special day for me, man. You know, to really see my kids, my wife, you know, my friends and family celebrate me. Um... It's, it's good, man. Single tear come to my eye, man. Especially for me. <clears throat> you know, I grew up, you know, with predominantly with mom. <clears throat> Shout out to mom, Dukes. You know, um, she did she did an outstanding job with me. And uh, <clears throat> although there was a lot of things she couldn't show me, you know, as far as being a man, like, she did what she knew how to do. You know what I mean? Which means that I had to pick up you know, uh, uh, I had to pick up the, my father's shit from other people's fathers or, you know, friends that were older. So me as a youngin', you know what I mean, growing up in Burdensville, you know, I was the youngest. So <clears throat> I kind of looked at certain friends of mine who may have been two or three years older as my father, you know what I mean? Crazy, right? <clears throat> who would have thought? But... <clears throat> You know, looking at them and how they was raised up, you know, and them having stuff that I didn't have, them kind of getting me hip to the game. Um, it, it ended up working out for me. So, my mom, you know, she had a couple of boyfriends, man. And, uh, you know, she had met this guy, Anthony, the late, great Anthony Jennings. Rest in peace. Um... He came in, man. He was younger, <clears throat> significantly younger than my mom. I was like, all right. Mom still got the juice. She, and she, she pulled a young one. She pulled a young bull out here. And uh country dude, man. And I didn't really know how to process it at first. But I was like, this nigga's y'all like super young. Like, how the hell he gonna father anybody? He ain't had no kids, you know what I mean? But he came in the house, you know what I'm saying? Took me with open arms, you know. I don't I'm not gonna say that he like taught me anything. You know what I mean? Actually, like, hey, man, let me show you how to, let me take you fishing, or or let me show you how to ride a bike. I was a little older then. He didn't do none of that shit, but, you know, just his presence showed me that, you know, he was a, he was a real man. He was a grown man out here, you know. Um, you know, he supported us. You know, he came, man, he started paying some bills, you know what I mean? Kept me fresh, Christmas gifts, birthdays, did a lot of stuff, man. And, um, you know, my mother was, like, infatuated with him. You know what I'm saying? She do this thing where uh, we knew we knew it was, you know what I mean, leave us alone time because she'd be in the room the whole day with the door closed. So I was like, all right, well, I guess I know what time it is. But, um, you know, he did he did the best he could, man, to uh, take care of us, you know, for this short time. Well, not short time shit. He was my mother from what uh, I want to say – Middle school, maybe fifth grade, until I was a grown ass man, military and all. You know, so um, he was definitely there. That motherfucker stayed with a car. He used to just buy an old car. He go buy an old Caddy. He go buy an old Crown Vic, an old uh, 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 little Ford four by four Joan, an old Lexus. I'm like, damn, bro. 
And any anything anything besides a car note, huh? You know what I mean? And them shits always broke down. He had them shits about a year or two, and the motherfuckers be broke. So I'm like, come on, dog. Just spend the money, man. But I mean, you know, nigga credit was probably jacked up, you know what I mean? <laughs> anyway. But uh like I said, man, he did a good job, man, but um even through all of that, man, the good stuff he did, I still was always wondering, you know what I'm saying? Where the hell is my pops? You know what I'm saying? What the fuck he doing? You know? And uh, when I went to boot camp, man, you know, that was something that was running through my mind big time, man. And I was kind of hoping, like, man, maybe somehow, some way, man, when, when my mother come down to Paris Island, South Carolina, to pick me up once I get out of boot camp, maybe my father would be there, too. You know what I'm saying? But I never, like, said anything, so I didn't expect her to read my mind, you know what I'm saying, from all the way down the road. But, man, coffee hitting this morning. Anyway, so once I got out, I was like, well, let me go holler at him, you know what I'm saying? And to be honest, I was off some, like, you know what I mean, my chest was swollen up. I wanted to be like, nigga, this is what I did, you know what I'm saying? This me, I did this without you. And that's initially how I felt, man. You know what I mean? I, I had a lot of anger. I had a lot of hate in my heart for my father because I felt like he failed me. You know what I'm saying? You know, for a lot of things that I had to go through as a child that, you know, I essentially had to figure out on my own. You know what I'm saying? Any, anywhere from, you know, tying a tie to how to talk to girls. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I hated that. I hated that I didn't really have that, even though it was another male in the house. At the end of the day, still wasn't my father because he never married my mother, nothing like that. But um, as the time went by, man, I was like, all right, well, you know, I you know I got kids now, so it's like, all right, I can't really keep doing this because it's not fair to, you know, my kids not to be able to see their grandfather. You know what I'm saying? So over time, you know, we, we had a couple bumps in the road, man, but we worked the shit out. You know what I'm saying? And I think we cool now, you know what I'm saying? We see each other, you know, you know, a couple of months here and there. You know what I'm saying? That I, I think I, I it gotta be spread out though. I don't I don't think I'm to the point where I can be uh like, you know, hey, you know, every weekend or like I gotta be dispersed because I get irritated real easy. It's like, oh, he may not know, but you know what I mean, depending on what he do or depending on how I wake up in the morning, I could be just real snappy, like, you know. So I try to do it, you know what I'm saying, maybe a monthly thing. But I'm working on it though, man. We we um we good. But when we together, you know, we chill, you know what I'm saying? Uh he you know, he might cook something or you know, I'll cook something, we'll sit outside, we'll have a little drink, and you know, we'll we'll just, you know, just talk about life, man. You know. Just talk about what he got going on, you know, what I got going on. Usually, you know, when he don't see me for a while, that means I did something different. So he ain't been to the new house yet. This will be his first time coming today. You know what I'm saying? So I'm pretty sure he'd be surprised. You know what I mean? Usually I would grill or we go get some crabs or something like that. You know what I'm saying? And just cool out here, be here the whole day, cool with the family. And, um, you know, just doing our thing, man. Just really just, you know, just trying to grow closer. You know what I mean? But, um, you know, um, it, it, it's, it is hard, man. It's hard sometimes, you know. It's hard to forget, you know, the childhood, especially if your childhood sucked. It didn't suck, man. You know what I'm saying? My childhood was great, but I just think it just could have been a little easier. You know what I'm saying? I just wish that, you know, certain things that I didn't know, you know what I mean, as being a man or something that, you know, I needed to look to a, a male figure for, I just wish it wasn't so hard. You know what I mean? So, listen. If any of you guys are thinking about doing your own podcast, man, I highly recommend you use Anchor. Anchor Anchor.fm. It's free. You know what I mean? It's got all the tools and stuff you need to make your stuff sound spiffy. You know what I mean? It's it's seamless. It's it's user-friendly. You can record it from your phone. You record it from your computer. You know what I'm saying? If you want it to be on Spotify or Apple Podcast or anything like that, it'll do it for you. You know, you can make some money. You know what I mean? Doing a sponsorship ad and just like something like this. And it's also free. So if you're interested in it, man, you can download the free Anchor app or you can go to anchor.fm. Good luck. <clears throat> All right. Anyway, so my kids, me being a father. 
So my son, Aiden, Young Bull, the sequel, Young King, Young Prince. <clears throat> he got a lot of names. But, uh, man, my son is nine years old, man. He about to be ten. Dog. Man, he is just, man, just, I don't give him enough credit, man. My son is really just, just a breath of fresh air, man. I'm just so proud of him, man. He just, you know, when you when you got a boy, you know, and when he's the oldest boy, and I got my daughter, Harley, she's she's uh, four. You know, um, they start to change, man. I remember me as a child, you know, I was in that stage where, you know, I would be in the room by myself. I'd be playing with cars on the floor. Or, you know, when I got my little Sega, you know what I mean? I used to play the shit out of that. But now he in this mode where it's like, you know, I'm going to go, I'm going to eat my food and all that. I'm just going to go over my room and then I'm going to scream at the TV playing Fortnite. You know what I mean? But it's like, you know, because of where we live, because of the COVID-19, you son of a bitch. You know what I'm saying? He can't really move the way he want to. But he outside boy. He is. He don't like being in the house. You know what I mean? We drop him off. I'll bridge chain, he had his little mans in them, and you know, I pick him up about three, four days later. He told me, Oh, dad, we was outside every day. We walked to the store, and we were sitting on the stoop, we was running around, and da 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 da. Like, yeah. That outside, I was outside child, man. I hated being in the house. I hated it. Like, in the summertime, I was that child who at like eight, nine o'clock in the morning, I'm knocking on your door. Hey, can, can such and such come out? And the parents looking at me like, take your little dusty ass home, dog. <laughs> so I would go outside early, or I would just be out at the park until like probably two hours by myself. And then, you know what I'm saying, a few of my little men's would come out, you know what I'm saying? By then, we either go to the basketball court, shoot around, you know what I'm saying, do whatever we got to do. The pool would open, we go to the pool, we'd be in the pool from 12 to like 6, come out the pool, nigga, don't shower. Throw the same shit you had back on. Go back to the basketball court. Chill. And then next thing you know, be at the park talking shit to about 9, 10 o'clock at night. Go in the house. Eat past the fuck out. Notice I didn't say nothing about no shower. I was a little dirty boy. But it's different, man. You know what I'm saying? The world different, man. The kids don't be outside like that. This, 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 uh, these electronics, you know, keep their asses glued to the TV. That's why these motherfucking kids be all fat and shit. But, um, I mean, my, my son, he a, little, he a little slim chubby, but I mean, I was chubby too, you know what I mean? It's like, he'll, he'll slim out once he get to move around. But, man, you know, having Aiden, you know, was 25 when we had Aiden. And, you know, me and my wife, man, we was, you know, he was in an apartment, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing security, like, we weren't really making no cheese. I'm like, man, how the fuck we gonna do this? But I was like, I mean, I, I want my boy, you know what I mean? I want my child. So for me, man, I, I had to change up, you know, what I was doing slowly. You know, I had to start moving a little different, you know what I mean? Spending money. You know, I used to, we used to spend, eat out all the time, alcohol and shit, parties in the club. That's when a nigga was clubbing. And uh, we had to change that, man, because, you know, even though we was on assistance, we had the wick and all that shit. Maybe still expensive shit. And then, you know, with my daughter, you know what I mean? We was we was set up a little better, but it's still another child, you know what I mean? So it was still was super expensive. You know what I'm saying? But I don't regret any of it, man. I think it's it's been the best journey of my life. You know what I mean? To raise my kids, man. You know, raise raise my kids, my family, show them, you know, show them the do's and don'ts, you know what I mean? Groom them, teach them, you know what I'm saying? Right now. You know, he got a job in the house. He got dishes and he got trash duty. Now, for me, I'm just like, you know, bring me home straight A's and you can have whatever you want. But now it's like, well, that's that's kind of easy. You know what I'm saying? Because mom's be helping with his homework. So I'm like, all right. Now, you know what I mean? You got to stay up on these chores. And that's that's where he's slipping. Because every time I turn around, the motherfucker trash running over. You know what I mean? So I'm like, bro. Do your job. If, if you want these, uh, what they call this shit on Fortnite, uh, 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 fucking battle bucks or whatever it is. You want them battle bucks, man. I need a motherfucking trash taken out, you dig? All right, so now let's talk about my daughter. Mm. Harley Janice Marbury. Man, I tell you, if, 
If I thought my life changed when I had my son, huge, major, major changes when I had a girl. Because as much as I want to be, you can't be hard body on your daughter. You can't. Holly, pick that up. Pick it up. Get over here now. Come on, boo. Pick that up. Pick it up. Stop playing. Damn. Stop playing. Oh, okay, go, go. Okay. Oh, I love you. I love you. She get me every time. Every time, dog. Hey, you know, I got a prissy little girl. I got a girly girl. Where, you know, we we uh, you know, we stuck in the house, COVID-19. My daughter get up in the morning. She come down, you know what I mean, slob all on her face. And she just be like, I just have cereal now. Then she sit, she eat her cereal, she watch Nick Jr. all day. But then what she do is she go upstairs and she get her little dress. Put her dress on. She come downstairs and then she just come stand in front of the TV and she'll just give me this look like, Daddy, Dad, do you see my dress? At that point, I got to stop what I'm doing and say, oh, my God, you're so beautiful. And then she'll start doing this little ballerina, little little prance joint. Like, Thanks, Daddy. Thank you. She do that whenever she get new shoes. She do that whenever she put on a new dress. She do that when her hair get done. She do that when she brush her teeth. I mean, she do that when she got gla- anything she put on. She needs dad's approval. She keep me on my toes, man. You know what I'm saying? And my son just be sitting there like, <sighs> well, you know, that's that's Harley, you know. But man, she really just showed me, man, you know, you know, how how to how to view women, you know what I'm saying? You know, more I always have respect for women, but you know what I'm saying, even more respect. And she watches me. She watches everything I do. She listens to what I say. You know what I mean? So I, I be having to limit the cuss words. You know what I mean? She listens to the music I listen to. You know, so I be trying to, you know, well, my music is my music. I don't change music for nobody. But, I mean, she she is a sponge, though. And she'll mess around and say, oh, let's play Candy World. She don't say Candy Land. Candy World. And she not a sore loser. I win every time. But she'll still just want to play until she win. You know what I mean? And she, she keep me on my toes, man. Like, when she sleep, if she get in the bed with me, she'll be like, you know, tapping my face, rubbing my bed, and literally just pass the hell out. And they'd be kicking me in my damn back all night. But, you know, she really just gives that that genuine love. Like, like she just sees me for, like, she sees me for me being the best person I can. You know what I'm saying? Both of them do. Aiden is just like, Aiden, he don't really say too much. But when I'm not around, he'd be talking me up. Oh, yeah, you know, me and my dad, you know, we went cycling. Yeah, you know, 12 miles. You know, yeah, yeah, my dad was pushing me. So, you know, you know, me and my dad. You know what I mean? Harley just, you know, Harley just tell it right there in front of everybody. Oh, my daddy. Daddy. Or she'd be like, dad. They they all they all convert into dad. Daddy's out of the window unless they need something. Boy, Aiden didn't call me daddy and shit. Probably since he was like three or four. Hmm. Coffee hit me. But it definitely changed the way I move, man. Now, you know what I'm saying? If I go out and buy something, you know, I'm like, uh... Now I can't really buy what I want because I gotta buy. I gotta buy one for the wife. I gotta buy one for the kids. I gotta buy. You know what I'm saying? So now I gotta change the way I'm spending my money. And I usually used to go. I just used to impulse buy clothes and shoes and shit. Now I'm like, yeah, this probably gonna run me like five hundred. I don't think I can do that. But yeah, Harley demands it, man. When she want that love, she wanted man. So she definitely keep me on my toes. Keep me, you know what I'm saying, doing what I need to do. And uh, I don't. I don't think she ever gonna let up on that. I think she's gonna be doing that shit. I think she's gonna be coming down, showing me her outfits until she turns into a damn adult. And one more thing, man. Before I go, man, make sure y'all get these Father's Day gifts, man. You know what I mean? I, don't, I, don't, I ain't talking about no booty, nah. I'm talking about them gifts. I'm talking about them socks. I'm talking about them Crocs. I'm talking about them them dad hats, them dad shirts, shorts, coffee mug. Grilling uh, uh, apparel, you know what I'm saying? Shoes, car stuff. Get y'all gifts, y'all. Get it all. I'm wait. I'm I'm some. I'm waiting to see. My wife know I want them Crocs size 12. <clears throat> you know they'd do that, man. They'd be like, oh yeah, we just gonna we have some dinner and get a little booty. Now nah, where's the gifts? We want gifts, damn it. Shit. I told you what I want. I want some cologne. I want, I want a pair of cool grays. 
You know what I'm saying? I want some Crocs. Shit. I want it all. I want, I want a fresh pair of white tees because my other joints are too small or they got paint on them. Get y'all a gift, y'all. That's all I got for you today, man. <clears throat> I'm going to wrap you up. Sorry. I got to go get some breakfast in me, man. So stay tuned for the next episode, man. Stick with me. Captain out. Hey, y'all. Thanks for listening, man. Um, More content to come, man. Just stick with me. Be sure to subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Robert Marbury. Follow me on IG at Boogie underscore TNR underscore 301. And also follow me on uh, Instagram at Captains with an S underscore 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 log. All right. See y'all next time.